What is going on, everybody? I am Jada Black here. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. We're going to talk about Stacey Dash, and I'm going to speak on it from my perspective. And I know it may not sit well with some of you. I know you're going to look at the title and you're going to listen to this video and you're going to say, well, Jane, she's still married to this fourth guy. Well, we're going to get into the things that have gone on in her life and how it has gotten her to where she is and why she tends to get into the situations that she gets into. Uh, if you don't agree with the commentary, that's fine. You can always leave your opinions in the comment section, but keep it classy people. Now, I want to talk about this from a red pill perspective, my perspective, and how the events from her past, especially when she was younger, has shaped who she is. Um, and I think her story is no different than a lot of other women who've dealt with those same things. Now you have females who are able to still be productive citizens and you have those who tend to be dysfunctional and lead dysfunctional lives. I think if you look at what she has been through and the fact that she has gotten to where she is, that is a, uh, that is, you know, a story and a, a miracle on it, unto itself. You had parents who were addicted to substances. She, you know, she herself dealing with traumatic events when she was younger. Okay. And the fact that she also dealt with, uh, certain substances, um, and just never really had a childhood. She never really had a childhood. That was for a time period where she really didn't have any place to be. Her mother would just leave her with people. And those issues go on to a lot as well with a lot of, you know, the single mothers who put their kids off on other people so they can go out, so they can travel, do whatever it is they want to do. You know, as if they don't have responsibility. Stacey Dash grew up in that. And I know there's a lot of other people who may have grown up in that as well. But that can be very difficult for a young girl to never feel protected, to never feel like she was loved, to never have the love of her parents. She never really had that. Okay. And I think that's so everything that you, you, you tie into it, you know, what happened to her when she was younger. Uh, the, what happened with her parents, the fact that she never really had true protection, I think it shaped who she was to when she got to high school and she is getting into it with other girls. She specifically talked about how she won fights against girls who are bigger than her because of the fact that she was a thinker. She used her mind in order to help her win, to be strategic, you know? And I think that she has always, I believe, felt like she was smarter than other people, which is fine. Um, but again, I also think that the events of her past, no matter what she tries to do in life, will shape who she is. She even joined, you know, uh, certain groups, you know, uh, and lived that street life briefly. And... I just think that comes with not really having protection on um, growing up in the home parents. You had to find that love from elsewhere. You know, um, there was a situation where an ex, um, he, uh, did something to her and she retaliated by almost blasting him away. You know, and those again, those type of events, man, they, you know, it, it's a build up. OK, the fact that she's getting into it with women, if the other females and she's winning those and the situation she's in with men, you know, never really feel protected around men, always having to have her guard up with men. I think that that plays a part in relationships. Now, let's fast forward. I'm going to get to the other relationships she's been in, but I want to fast forward to the guy who's the fourth husband that she is with now. Okay. So let's just fast forward to Jeffrey Marty. Okay. Y'all know she was recently in a situation, uh, where, you know, he alleged that she put hands on him and she was the one who 
was you know taken away in handcuffs not him even though you look at the look at the 911 call she's the one calling uh the authorities but she's the one who gets gets um basically you know taken away and i think it had a lot to do with the fact that one the guy's a lawyer and he might in that particular area might be very well known and was able to prove that he was the more innocent part in the situation you know i, I think that in that situation i think that stacy thought because she's female that it'll be her word against his but what she don't understand is that you know the either these particular people know that you're not telling the truth and you're not being truthful or they listen to him and he's more believable than you and that says that even when they look at you they can tell that yeah she might be a little off you know she, she something might not be right there you know so <clears throat> So let's go back. Let's go back to her previous relationships and, uh, and especially her previous match. Now let's let's start with Christopher Williams. She was with him. Uh, they had a kid together. All right. Now our first marriage was to Brian Lavelle. Uh, they got married in '99 and divorced in I believe 2005. And they have a daughter together. Okay. Now she didn't stop there. She got right back on that marriage train. And in 2005, 2006, she was married to a British executive named James Maybe. Okay. But of course, that didn't, you know, that ended very quickly. She ended up getting married again for the third time in 2007 to an actor named Emmanuel. Okay. She ended up filing for separation from him too after a couple of years. Now, after that, for a good. I would say seven or so years she wasn't married. I believe she was still dating, but she wasn't married. Okay. But she ended up going the whole I'm a conservative now route. She's all over Fox News. Then she meets this guy, Jeffrey Marty, who himself is a Democrat turned Republican, and they ended up getting together. What a picture, huh? And they've been together for a year now. They secretly got married in 2018. And this will be the fourth marriage. But in this situation, she is a stepmom. She's a stepmom. I don't know if she was stepmom previously in her other relationships. But she is in this one. And obviously, they are living with both of them. Because the main reasons for her uh, getting into it with her husband was his you know a 15 year old got in stacy's face and for the people who are going to listen to this video they're going to look at the title and they're going to think that i'm trying to make stuff up and i'm being inaccurate understand this if you don't get along with your um if you don't get along with your partner's kids that situ that relationship is doomed to fail, especially if the if the ex is still involved. And if you listen to the 911 call, okay, the ex is still involved. You know, they are on good terms. And I don't think that sits well with Stacy, and I think it boiled over. And I also want to say this too. I don't know how successful Jeffrey is. But if you look at the video from TMZ, it looked like they're staying in an apartment or a condo. Again, it could be a very expensive place. We don't know. But it's just very interesting because I believe she owns a home in Florida. But they're living in this condo or apartment. That's very interesting. Um, did she not level up? <laughs> Did she not level up? I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> these sisters hop the fence and this they they want them to hop the fence because they, they claim that the, these women need to level up. They need to exercise their options. Don't try to help them build. And then they go to exactly what? But anyway, Marty Pilot went through a separation where he lost you know, a good amount of stuff and rebuilding himself, so we don't know. 
But I want to say this with Stacey Dash. I really don't have anything against her. I just think she's just somebody who's never really gotten help. And she, because she never really had that security as far as a marriage is concerned, as far as a family is concerned growing up, she doesn't like to be single. She doesn't like to be alone. And she's willing to hop from one marriage to another, which lets me know that she already had one guy lined up once the previous relationship was over. So how you go from being separated in 2015 to up to 2015, 2005, and then that same year you go and you marry somebody else after just getting divorced that year. Now, maybe you were separated from the person previously for a while, but again, I can only go by documents. I can go only go by facts. I can't go by innuendos, rumors, what could have happened, would have happened. But we're going to go off the premise of you know, she doesn't like to be alone. She never had that security growing up and she wants it. You know, she feels like she needs it. And there are a lot of other women who are in her shoes. There's a lot of other women out there who want that security. There's a lot of women out there that want a man to be able to protect them and and be able to take care of them. Now, the guy, uh, Jeffrey, has basically ceased any um, legal action towards uh, Stacy, And he even pinned a tweet on his Twitter talking about how much he loved her. That may be the case, bro. But until she gets help, the help that she needs, these type of things are going to happen again. Because... She is in a situation where she's around people who really don't like her. The husband do, but his tribe don't. And that's only going to cause problems because Stacey is, the, Stacey is the type of person she will confront you. She will get in your face. She will defend herself if she needs to. And I feel like when she thinks when her back is against the wall, she's going to lash out. And I don't know if she's getting the help that she needs, but being but being as though where she came from, I just believe that she needs to find a way to find some healing because healing is not going to come from just getting married to a new guy.